How you guys doing? It's Seb here. Welcome back to another episode of PES 2017 My Club. In this episode, we're going to go through some top players, mainly game-changing players. We're talking about mainly about gold and silver ball players that you can obtain them in the auction house or if you have them, make sure to use them or level them up. Uh, now, these players, what I'm recommending, they are game-changers. Mainly, they're strikers or wingers or defenders. They can change a game for you. You don't need a superstar team to win or enjoy the game. Sure, it's fun having them, but if you watch my stream, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And I know it's too late for this type of videos, but I don't have as much time I used to have like last year. I used to upload often, but I'm trying my best to upload um, more. I have some gameplay, uh, gameplay episodes in the upcoming, and then uh, maybe I will go through some um, maybe top five um, gameplay tips instead because we do make a lot of videos about tactics. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into it. Take note of these players, and if you don't have them, make sure to sign them in the auction house. If you have a lot of GP, think about what you want. Do you want quality players or quantity of players? If you need quality, go auction house. If you need quantity, use them for spins. And if you don't know how to sign a player, I will link the video for the auction house in the, in the description. I think I made a video about, um, if you check out my previous uh, video, I'll explain auction house a little bit. And in that video, there's a link which directs you to a video I made on PES 2017 explains auction house. <clears throat> Excuse me, which is like a transfer market. Well, it's a pain in the butt, Holly. Anyway, dudes, let's jump right into it. PES 2018 My Club Game Changers You Need to Have Gold and Silver. Alrighty guys, PES 2018 My Club Game Changers. Let's start all the way from the top. This is currently my favorite three star squad. As you can see, I have all these superstars there. Alright, long story short. What's the point in having superstars and not use them? But then what's the point in using superstars when players make more errors? All I'm saying is, I'm not saying superstar, I'm not talking about script, etc. I'm just saying, when I use more superstars, and, and like when I go super duper star, all of them black balls, tend to a lot of, you know, errors tend to happen. But anyway, let's start with my favorite game changer. Pretty obvious. Top three game changers. Strikers. Timo Werner, Rashford, and Mpape. Alright, let's see what's special about them. I can't go through every single player that I recommend with their ability because that will be a long ass video. Now obviously he is fast with um, good dribbling, high attacking prowess, his response when the team is on the attack, um, jump is pretty good, strength on the ball, physical contact is good, that means he's strong on and off the ball. Obviously what he lacks is header but surprisingly he does score header. He's a 90 minute machine because his stamina is 85, good form, injury resistant, weak for accuracy, he does have a track back, which I don't like. Track back, it means strikers can draw back uh, to help the defense. But it's not that important. You can use counter target on him. Um, second, my favorite second, obviously, in Papi, he's a, he's a nightmare for everyone. I mean, people who had him, like, level, um, uh, you know, full level, maxed out, it's, it's incredible. We're talking about ball control, dribbling, kicking power, speed, explosive power, finishing, stamina, 90-minute machine as well, first time shot, and a lot of other um, good skills. Uh, Rashford, well, Rashford, like, I think is form. That's the only thing he likes. But he's an... Any player that had stamina 80+, plus, he is a 90-minute machine. Amazing dribbling, ball control. That's what I like. I don't just like pace horse. Normally, I call players pace horse when they don't have dribbling and ball control. Because ball control and dribbling is really, really important. Uh, how good a player is when he's running full speed to keep the ball in his feet. And, of course, his first touches and, you know... In general, it's a it's a pretty obvious one. Ball control and dribbling, and attack and pro is important as well. Um, now we're talking about Malcolm. This guy should not be a silver ball. I mean, he's got everything. Uh, well, but apart from finishing, that's one thing he likes. But he can create as well. I wouldn't say he's a 90 minute player. Stamina 75. But my top three game changers. I repeat: Timo Werner, Mbappe, Rashford. If you just started my club, try to save some GP and get Werner from the auction house. My favorite two center midfielders, Kieta and Paulinho. Paulinho scores more goals than any other center midfielders. Suso is just another thing. 
Now, the mistake that, obviously, I don't play like this. This is just for the video. I prefer using Suso as a SS. Don't use him as a wing forward. He's got the goal poacher card, and the goal poacher card is only active when you play him as SS. 88 ball control, dribble in 87. Um, lacks finishing a little bit, but doesn't matter. He's got the speed, he's got the stamina. Perfect, just perfect. Uh, Zuma, physically strong, he's tall. Kim Pepe, super fast, rapid. And one of my favorite right back has to be Mikado. Why? I normally don't like my fullback to overlap often. If I want them to overlap, I can use attacking fullback or I can do one-two with them. So what's special about him, 87 defensive pro is 87 ball winning. That is too good for a center back, uh, for a fullback. Obviously, center backs normally have this ratio. What I look for in my fullback, low attacking pro is high defensive pros. If your fullback has higher attacking pros than defensive pros, He's going to be out of position all the time, getting caught on counters. However, there are certain players who are fast enough, even though their attacking pros is higher than their defense pros, they can track back. For example, uh, the Man United right back from Colombia. What's his name? Ah, tip of my tongue. Ederson Moraes, I mean, what can I say? There are other goalkeepers that I would recommend. Gold goalkeeper, Somer. S O M. S O M M E R. I don't have him personally. And Begovic. Begovic, Sommer, uh, Ederson Marais. There is something special about this guy as well, Lafont. <laughs> I mean, I've, I think he performed better when he hit level 40. If you check him, yeah, he is too good for a silver ball. But it's just something magical about him, dudes. I can't, I can't explain. Um, as you can see, this is my team. If you catch up on the Twitch channel, I'm a streamer, I, I spin often. Um, so, um, don't get salty. Donnarumma, mm, I don't know, man. I mean, they told me if he reached level 40, he will be good. Not that happy with him. I'm not going to talk about the black ball players because this is about um, game changers, silver and gold. Nacho, it's, it, it's just too good. Nacho is just too good, man. Uh, from pace to even ball control, he can play center back, right back, left back. And also Carlos uh, Diego, he's like a knockoff. Sergio Ramos. Um, Mascherano is pretty good as a DMF. Uh, as Pliqueta, very, very versatile. Varane, my favorite center back. Low attack pros, high defensive pros, solid. Marquinhos, my top five center back. There are better gold center back than black ball center backs. And my top five uh, game changing gold center backs has to be Varane, Marquinhos, Bailey. Uh, Manolas and Socrates. Take notes. I'm quite happy with Smalling, but he's always out of position. Plus, he lacks form. Bailey is just a machine, dudes. Bailey is just a machine. I'm quite happy with Robertson, actually. He's been pre playing pretty well. Now, Jorge is pretty good. He's fast, but he's got high attacking pros, which I don't like. Currently, I am stuck with Yuri. I don't really have other uh, gold left backs. And he's not bad. Asamoah. Pretty solid man. He can play center back. He can play right back, center midfielder. I am really happy with Smolinkov as well. He always starts for me. I don't give Alex Vidal a lot of chance. He's a super sub. Um, other center backs that I really, really, really like. Aspli Quetta has to be my number one favorite fullback. And then Danny Carvajal. Um, Munier, I really like him. Because having a, having a tall fullback, it will stop crossing, dudes. You got to more focus on stopping the cross than trying to... Uh, stop the header because when the header goes in in most cases I see Kalini ducking uh, letting um, Letting Enzania get a header so uh, defending the defense response to aerial balls attempts it seems to be Kind of effed up not as good as it was with the code I played back in um, World Tour before uh, the full game was released. I pretty like Samedo uh, If I use Samedo, I'll make sure that my left back can track back or for example let's say I am using Semedo here I'll make sure I has a DMF on his side someone like a destroyer so if he overlaps you know the destroyer will kind of cover him up things like that it is important um, what where are we right now but remember my top five dudes uh, we're talking about game changers obviously they has to be strikers so Timo Werner and Papi uh, Suso and also I forgot about um, Gabriel Jesus if you guys watch him in real life he does exactly that in the game 
And my other favorite has to be Rodrigo. Oh man, this guy is a gold machine. Gold machine. Um, obviously, the the obvious ones is Manzukic, Belotti is pretty good. I've never given Maturlo a try. Alexin, super skillful. Firmino, mm, not the not being the best for me. Uh, Gamero is just rapid. He's go super sub. I seven more minutes sixty. Uh, pretty decent. I have not used uh, Deriusi. Talk to me, comment on the chat. There are certain players I haven't used. I want your opinion because I might release them. So um, Deriusi and um, Ramos. Martinez, a lot of people talk about him. I prefer Alexander Martinez. Martinez has a super sub. Rondon is a goal machine, dudes. Every time I start with him, he does score. Zabata, I hear a lot of people talking about him. Uh, Paulson, I'm not really a crosser and his finishing Kena is terrible. Uh, Mbolo, I liked him on PES 17. Never tried him on um, 18. Talk to me what you think about him. This guy is a freaking nightmare, dudes. This guy is an absolute nightmare. I've pl I mean, he is tall, all right? He's fast as well. It's incredible. I played against a guy destroyed me. You know, obviously cross spammers. I like tour players, even though I'm not a crosser, because they can win most, most of your goal kicks or area balls. So this guy is pretty solid as well. All right, who we got next? Who we got next? Who we got next? Um, all right, these are my uh, team level two warriors right here. Uh, okay, wingers, obviously, Inaki Williams. Quaresma, if you like dribbling. Traore is pretty decent. Townsend, pretty good at the passing, creating chances. Uh, amazing runs. I pay attention to, I give players 10 matches. I look at their movement for any position they are, how they act in attack and defense. If they are all over the place, no, nah, fired. Carrillo is pretty decent. Christian Tello, solid. Um, I really like um, Adama Traore as well. Moore never gave him enough chance. Um, also, Draxler is one of, one of the one of my favorite gold best dribblers. Has to be Draxler and um, Perotti. And dude, Carrasco, he's better than he's better than many other black balls, dudes. Trust me. El Sharavi, I use him as an LMF, and I'm not happy with him. He's got amazing dribbling. Maybe if you guys using him as a wing forward, talk to me and let me know what you think of him. Rafa Silva, I used to call him a knockoff Messi. He's not as good as he was back in 17. But definitely game changer on PES 18. Dudo's pretty good. I'm keeping all Brazilian players. Hopefully the Romario engine will come back. Chervi is solid, dude. Pace, dribbling. I mean, that's what you want to look for in your winger. Chatov is pretty good. El Gansi, he is he's like a tank on the ball. I mean, for a silver ball, having um, 98 strength on the ball, that is rare, dudes. That is rare. All right. Am I gonna through? Am I gonna go through the entire, <laughs> my entire team? Because this is, this was supposed to be a short freaking video. Um, who else do we have here? All right, Marco Asensio, solid. He lacks form though. If you're gonna start with Marco Asensio, make sure you have a good um, AMF in the bench. In my opinion, the best gold attacking midfielder, whole player, has to be Oscar. Get him in the auction house, you won't be disappointed. I don't want to talk about black balls, but my favorite best. Um, attacking midfielder, whole player has to be Mickey. He's got everything. Um, Alec Teixeira is pretty good, man. I mean, most of my AMFs are pretty solid. I'm not happy with Sabatizer. Yeah, he's fast, but I prefer um, Lanzini or Danny or Abdurrahman because they have better dribbling. Abdurrahman, he scores every game I use him. Um, here we have Sane. I mean, for speak for himself. Uh, Shakir is pretty solid, man. Strong on the ball. He can create. I like Marcos Alonso as well if I three, play three at the back. And this guy's this guy Akuna. Pretty solid as well, man. This video is turning into best players. Like like going through gems as well. This was supposed to be um uh, top um, game changers. But anyway guys, I think the video dragged out. Comment down below if you have any players that you think they are a game changers. Share it with the community. Let others know. As I said, I know it's kinda late for this type of videos, but um I, I ran out of time, man. I was late. Uh, Sankar is pretty good, man. I mean, I kind of went, went on about good silver and bold rather than game changers. But keep it in your mind. The top five gold and silver center backs who will change your game. It's Zuma, Kimpempe, Manolas, Socrates, um, Bailey, Marquinhos, Varane. And my top three game-changing strikers has to be Timo Werner, 
and Poppy um, Rashford. And then comes Rodriguez and Gabriel Jesus. Hope you guys find the video useful. Comment down below. Share your game changers. And um, let's check out the statistics for these strikers. See how many games they played and how many goals they scored. Proven they are game changers. Now if you come here. Possession. There we go. All right. Let's uh, let's view do, 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 and Papi. All right. He played 273 games. Average rating 6.2. That's pretty good. 83 goals. Mind you, it's not that much of goals because I use him as an AMF. He's fast. When I lose the ball, he's fast enough to track back and bring it. How many assists he's got? 52. Timo Werner, 54 assists, 150 goals in 258 uh, matches. Gabriel Jesus, I haven't used him that much. Appearances, 336. Average rating, 6.12. Now you see my top three game changing strikers they have the average of 6 point plus rating as i said timo werner and papi and uh, rodriguez rashford as well they're all rated 6 point uh, plus and that's how i um rate the players especially uh for sim mode as well now if it comes to the center back because that's what's important a solid center back solid striker and midfielders you know Anyone can anyone can do if they can just do a simple pass. Let's check out the average region for Varane, Marquinhos, Bailey. Uh, doesn't seem to be sick for us because they are defenders in a way. Anyway, dudes, hope you guys find the video. And uh, I will try to upload often. If you want to catch up more on the gameplay, make sure to check out my Twitch channel. Click on videos. Catch up on the past broadcast or you can watch the highlights. Uh, there are highlights on Twitch as well. And um, I will be trying to upload more dudes until next time be sep ciao for now subscribe if you haven't already make sure to turn your notifications on so you will get notified when my next video uh, will be live greatly appreciated guys also if you want to catch up on my live stream i do live stream the my club series as well uh, you can just go to my uh, twitch channel link is in the description you can click on past past broadcast or the highlights pezuniverse.com everything you need regarding pes 2018 and the future releases we're talking about custom kit creator option file uh you know tips news etc we have a pathology section there as well to make sure to check that website out link in the description